Yes, sir. Um, I'll start first of all again. Um, each of us are speaking as individuals, not representing the movement as a whole. Okay. But um, Occupy Richmond is set up. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm Chris, by the way. Um, Occupy Richmond is a movement, a true movement of the people, by the people. Mm -hmm. and it for is, the people. and for the people. It is set up. To bring attention to not, not, not cut you all, but what people? You said for the people, by the people. All people. people. All people. So all people. Are you. All of humanity. All you, me, and everyone is listening, and everyone who's not listening. Um, everyone may not agree with us, but we're still here for the people, by the people. We don't all have to agree with each other. We're, we're not all going to agree with each other. The people I'm sitting across here from the table right now, I don't agree with all the time, but. I'm, I respect them, mm -hmm. I love them, and I'm going to listen to their ideas. Mm -hmm. There's still issues on the table that need to be addressed. And, you know, Teddy or Bentley or anyone that might be here with, um, they might have the answer to that. They might have a, a solution to the problems that we're having. Mm -hmm. um, I might have a solution. So we're all here. The purpose of Occupy for me is to, to network, hear about these ideas, and try to employ some solutions. Okay, I got a question for all of you. All right. Give me five oh. <laughs> things that you, as a group, want to accomplish. Just five. I know you, uh, earlier I heard somebody say they got hundreds of them. We don't want hundreds of them. We just want five. Oh. Well, uh, Chris Dorsey. Yeah, hi. This is this is Chris Dorsey. Um, I will say that uh, uh, Chris Gilchrist and I, uh, who just spoke, um, were a part of a a uh, small working group. They came up with many more than five uh, direct goals coming up for the upcoming General Assembly, for the upcoming uh, Occupy the Dream event at, at the Richmond Federal Reserve Bank and all the other regional Federal Reserve Banks. Um, we're, we're going to oppose uh, the lifting of the ban on uranium mining. Uh, we're going to oppose actions being taken, other actions being taken by the General Assembly to restrict people's rights or to take people's money away. Uh, uh, well, I would say uh, rights to uh, have access to birth control. I would say that that's, that's a big... Wait a minute, wait a minute. You say you, you want to fight the General Assembly about rights to birth control. Don't they... Uh, Social give it away? No. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Don't they give I, the young girls pills and stuff? Andrew, you want to make them illegal? Huh? Yes, as of right now, um, there are process there are ways for women to get forms of birth control. This is one of the major goals of Occupy and a lot of people do not know this. There's a bill coming up um, in Virginia right now that would make all forms of birth control and abortion illegal for women in Virginia. That means no more birth control. That means no more morning after pill. That means no more abortion. And these are things that are not being discussed. They are not being talked about. Well, what, what senator is presenting that paper? Do you remember who it is? Um, I, can, I can look it up for you in about five minutes. That wasn't one of the issues we were supposed to be talking about. You can go and um, actually look it up for yourself if you'd like. Or if you'd like to call back later, then we can present it for you. Or if you'd like, you can go to the Occupy RBA site and you can get the information off of the site as well. Oh, I'm sorry, what was it? The information will be on there tonight. Call you on the air. Yes, good evening, Mr. Brown. How are you all? Fine. Good evening. 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 Okay, good. Um, I had a conversation yesterday with Jeff, Jeffrey Bonner of the mayor's office. Uh-huh. And this was, if this is concerning about the high rises that in the city of Richmond. All right, Mr. Miller, can, can you do me a favor, Mr. Miller? Can you call back at 20 minutes, too? And we're going to have a conversation.
we're gonna give that 20 minutes to, you, to part of the show to you. We're gonna, we got some questions we ask them with Archive Richmond, we don't want them to lose their thought. Would that be okay? Okay, would you want me to call back 20 minutes to five? Yeah, call back 20 minutes to five, we don't want them to lose their okay. thought. Okay, thank you. Um, I would like to say this on behalf of the birth control issue. Okay. Number one, the birth control issue should not be settled by men. You don't take birth control and you don't have babies. Leave that up to the women. Number one, birth control is on a woman. Number two, um, a woman should have the right to do what she wants with her body. Now, if she goes out there and have unprotected so sex... are you for it or against birth control? Well, I say this. If um, incest is involved and rape and all of these other things are involved, then the woman should have the right to terminate if she is impregnated, number one. Number two, birth control and abortion should not be used as a mean of, um, how should I say it? It shouldn't be used as a political football. That's right. And number three, I have to say this, that um, women have the right to do what they want to with our bodies. You guys need to stay the hell out of this. <laughs> and that's the bottom line. Are you for it or against birth control? Well, my baby days are over. But for the young women, I are say practice. Practice. Are you the issue? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm like practice prevention. It's too much, too many, too many forms of birth control out here, and the abortion is not the thing now. Abortion is not to get rid of a baby that you made overnight by mistake when you were drinking or drugging. Okay, the government should not pay for abortions if you were negligent. We should not use the government to fund birth controls unless so are, there was. You are against birth control. No, I'm for birth control for some women that want to use it. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, well, okay, y'all not in agreement. Speaking of life, uh, to get back to the purpose of Occupy, okay. uh, um, or at least back to the five points that you'd like to hear. We got three questions. We need two more. Okay. Um, so I was thinking personally, uh, one of the purposes that I see is uh, Occupy. Uh, it, it's a, uh, it's well, a gap. Hold okay. Because you got another call. All right. Thanks. Go ahead. All right. That's who's. I think the young lady just made uh about the birth control should be just decided by the women, I don't think that's correct. It takes two to get involved in birth control and it should be the responsibility of both people to exercise birth control, not just the woman and the man too, because it takes both of them. Yeah, yeah, but if you tangle and you need a condom, brother. Take two to tangle. Yeah, yeah, but if you tangle and you need to use some protection, and then we won't have that problem. We'll we'll start the swallowing. Man, that's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Yes, she, you, no, he's right, he's right, he has the seed, you know, the seed to plant life. That's it's, right, it's, you control your seed, you, you, you control your seed, don't sow your seeds. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna speak for myself and I'll say, no, I just wanted to correct that because I, I think that was an incorrect statement he made that it should be done. But most of you guys do not control the situation. You leave the woman with the seed for nine months in the oven, and you most of you all are no. <laughs> hey. Excuse me. Yeah, we're we're. Well, I think I think we'll bring it back, and I'll speak for myself, and I'll say the monetary system is why I'm here. The illegal Federal Reserve Bank. The fact that central banks of the world, including the Federal Reserve Bank print money out of thin air, and then charge us interest. It's a criminal operation from the beginning, and it's a scam. Everything else is me, just window dressing. Do you have a debit card? Uh, I don't personally have a debit card. I don't personally have a bank account. All right, how do you buy, how do you transact buying Cash. services? Cash. So Cash. Using the money that you say is no good. I, Ooh, that's well, all I would I, I would say uh, that is correct, but I use it a lot less, and I I'm I'm less uh, influenced and less. The problem and not the solution. Well, I will say uh, that I really have no other choice, and I don't think anybody else does. And if somebody has an idea on how I can do that, I am I am a member of a uh, well, a non. Years ago, farmers 
We can bother. I'm a member of something called Richmond Independent Community Hours, which is an independent. And they bartered. You can't do that in the city. They bartered that. <laughs> the city won't allow that. Right. A anyways, the people, including myself, have no control over the money system. My my uh, my landlord is not going to take you know a cow or a pig. Um, well, how can my... you say they have no control when I was just looking at a, 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 a thing on TV last night uh, with Chris Rock and he said that uh, the hair product is a, a twenty billion dollar a year product. Uh, I'm saying I'm saying that the people have no control over the issuance of the money. Simple answer to that, no. <laughs> yeah, the simple answer, 
The simple answer to that is yes, no. It would do <laughs> absolutely one said yes, one said no. No, 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 we're, no saying, we're no. all saying no. No. All of us are saying no. It's it's all no. Um, and the reason that is is because if there is still corporate money funding our political and gov our political system and our government. Forming a new political party will do absolutely nothing. We have to get the corporate money out of politics first. The corporate money has to go. All right, hold on. What do you say, Carla? Okay, right there. If you all have an agenda, you all right there are They want to know if you're arguing. The caller wants to know if you got an agenda. The agenda is to get corporate money out of politics, to eliminate all of the other agendas that the corporations can fund through their own lobbying to get passed down through our politi politicians to make law, laws that work against us, the people. These laws encompass many different things, but the main problem is we have corporate money funding our politicians. We have corporate money funding our politics. We have been sold out. I agree with you. Now, Carla, go ahead, Carla. That's on a national level, correct? Global. He wants to know how. Yes, sir. This is. Can, can, I, can I say something real quick? I don't think any of us. Carla. Hey, Carla, we, we're on point with you, and you got a good point because uh, Dominion Virginia Power donated money in this last election mm -hmm. to both Democrats and mm -hmm. Republicans. Now they're trying to raise your your uh, light bill, mm -hmm. and nobody is speaking up. Two years ago, Dominion Power was caught stealing. Well, they overcharged. I'm gonna say it like it is. <laughs> they stole five hundred <laughs> from the citizens of Virginia, their customers, and the state corporation commission caught them. And now they're making payments back to you, and they put it on your light bill as a credit. And people were running around. They just did that again in the last last few months. They just did it again. That's all right. They might have done it again with the light bill going up in January. Wow. Wow. Hold that thought. Now, I'm going to buy Richmond. Y'all going to take it on. Y'all going to punk out and just act like you want to do something. Oh, we're going to do something, or at least members of Occupy Richmond are going to do something. And uh, when when uh, uh, certain of us, uh, and I'm running for sheriff of the city of Richmond, take over the jail, we're going to stop putting in nonviolent drug offenders, and we're going to put in people like Tom Farrell, CEO of Why Dominion you Power. Him in there? He got fourteen million dollars last year. Why well, he his money is going to be meaningless when when uh, uh, when that happens. It, it it's not going to matter. His money is not going to help him. I bet his it treason, I his bet treason it will be paid for. Then, well, you know what? Then, I'm not calling then we are all I'm in a load of trouble. But name. I disagree with you. I'm not calling name, but money. Yeah. Tom Farrell. I'm calling his name. I'm Eric Cantor. Jeff Lacker. I'm now, calling their names. Now, I, I hate to put this out, out there like this. Jeff Lacker, now, president bet, of the Richmond I Federal Reserve son, Bank. Ron Banks. Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah, he's out. Jeff Lacker for treason. Yep. Huh? President of the Richmond Federal Reserve Bank. Eric Cantor for treason. Member of the House Leader of the. Ain't gonna scare you. He got plenty of money. Y'all shot at his building. His money is not going to save him any longer. Yeah. We didn't shoot nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Hey, we got we got carried away there. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carl, for calling. I'm sorry we got Carl carried away in here because you know it's not you're not used to getting this on radio. All right. You know where you can come and be yourself. You can say what you want to say, but you better know what you're talking about. So we'll cut you off. Number five. Number five. Number five. Um, let's bring it back home. Let's talk about the. government is more the people that we put in there to run our government 
It's the people. It's not the government. The government is, 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 is the people. Right. It's not like people. It's the 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 that's why it's the First Amendment. You know what? We got the smartest callers in the world right here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what comments? I appreciate that. No, no comments. Thank oh, you. Okay. I think everybody's on point about this government. Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Point five. Point five. Go. Like I said, let's bring it back home. Um, you, you mentioned that we have some of the smart, smartest callers here calling in. I want all of Richmond to be like that. I want all of the United States to be like that. I want them to be forward about the issues that are going on. That's one of our goals. I want to talk about why 25% of Richmond right now is considered poor. And, I, again, what's being done about that. I want to talk about the homelessness that is um, all over the streets. I want to talk about, again, people not having food in the refrigerator. I want to talk about uh, Sheriff Wood. I, I want to talk about the mayor and see what he's doing to correct some of these problems. Again, big issue that's been brushed under the table, ha um, Hurricane Irene. Look at, look at that issue. Look where how it left the city, and it still hasn't been addressed. And those are the type of issues that I want to talk about. I want to talk about my community. I, I want to talk about why the streets in Churchill are, are, are cracked, why, why the, the sidewalks are falling apart. Why the, the houses are falling down, but you walk into the West End and the streets are pretty, the streets are clean, and mm -hmm. the trash cans are empty, mm -hmm. you know? I, I want to talk about taking out some of the trash that's in you know city council chambers. Well, if you like it like that, you need to move out of church and go to the West End. You know, no, oh no, oh no. no. We need, no, we can't no. run from the problem. No, we're not, I'm, I'm not trying to run from the problem. I want to fix the problem, you know what I mean? Don't you think it's done with the people that you elect? I, I know that the elected officials are nothing more than puppets for the corporate money that we're talking about. They're nothing more than puppets for for the people who own the banks. Okay, let me ask They're you, puppets. Since we got Occupy Richmond in here, think about it while we take this phone call. Give me five elected officials in Richmond that we can count on. Call okay. like this. We can count on. Yes, um, I want to comment on, on, I gotta, I, I, on the right answer. Because, uh, legal statement that he made about the homeless. Uh, what, what statement you, you about the homeless? About the homeless and about, yeah. about the uh, vacant homes over in Churchill? I don't know what the mayor wants to do. And everything. Can you tell him? Yeah, well. and the city council will get together and get a work plan to get the homeless people a job to fix up like these vacant homes with the money that they say that the mayor got $62 million. Take them off the street, give them a job, make it at least 10 or 12 hours an hour to fix these vacant homes up, and maybe we won't find people in one of these vacant homes days. Okay, let, let, hold that thought. Let us go to work on that one because we also got that section three two that will set in in place that provide jobs for homeless, uh, low income, and lower income people. It's already in place. It's been in place since 1968. Huh. Working on that right now. I think we should cut out the middleman and just tell people to go ahead and occupy those abandoned, dilapidated buildings and fix them up. Fix them up. Hold on a second, wait. Brother Esau, also there's called the Neighborhood Stabilization Program, which some of y'all are familiar with. <clears throat> NSP3 is targeting the blighted and dilapidated properties. On January the 9th, Bradley Development, along with Major Network, will be proposed to City Council an extended use of those funds, because right now they're using, utilizing Habitat for Humanity as that entity that will then contract the contractors to fix the property. Then those 
recipients that will be housing it will go through HOME homes. And so when they come on the other side of home, then they're eligible in order to qualify for these homes. Now, they normally use nonprofits, and what we'll be representing to them is what you just said, Brother Esau, that with the Section 3-2 and the knowledge that we have about being exposed with the NSP-1 being the original rental for profit company that the city has, but y'all don't know that, that this is the avenue that we can collaborate with city council, economic community development, to make sure that that NSP-3 program is utilized to maximize the Section 3, the workers, as well as have that transitional opportunity for those in the housing and needing assistance into these houses in order for the community to get better. So keep that in mind that that's what we're looking to do and one of the things that uh, Mr. Brown has been trying to help coordinate. And also, coordinate. We, we already been working with uh, Councilman Bill Connors and he's helping us prepare a paper to present. So we already on that case. All right, I can find Richmond. Where did we leave off? We talked about homeless, poets, uh, the poets, Hurricane, Churchill, and where, where, where were you going? Let me say this. You asked us what politicians that we can trust in oh, Richmond. Yeah. Name five. None. <laughs> there are none. We love... I, I personally, I personally say I love Marty Jewel and Reva Trammel. I love them to death, and they're helping us out a lot, and we really appreciate it. But that does not mean that we can trust them. Okay. Politics, you cannot trust politicians. All right, next. Well. Hold on, let me get them, Jack. Next. <coughs> I feel the exact same way. Name two names. You can't name five. No, this is Faith, and I feel the exact same way. There's none. Why? Because they have all accept these corporate bribes known as lobbying. And so they all have a separate agenda, which is not the agenda of the people. That is the issue. So who do, who do I think we can trust? None of them, to be quite honest, because they all have corporate money backing them. That is the state of our politics. That is how they get into politics. Mm -hmm. That is how they are elected. Mm -hmm. That is how they get to where they are. Mm -hmm. How can you trust someone who has an agenda that go, works against the people? Mm -hmm. It is a corporation's job to take from the people so they can maximize profit. So how can you trust a politician who has accepted lobbying, a.k.a. a bribe, let's call it what it really is, mm -hmm. to on, back the agendas down. of these corporate <laughs> of these corporations that want to take from you, that want to steal from you, and they want to turn around and smile in your face and say, Come we're on. doing it for your own good. good. Mm -hmm. I don't trust any of them mm -hmm. until we get the corporate yes, she is. out of and politics. Beautiful. Get it out. And beautiful to boot with a brain. What school? Did I went to Tab High School in Hampton University. That's right. She gorgeous, too. And smart. <laughs> 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 That's right. Okay. Now, okay. I want to say that was asked to young lady who was just that I understand her issue with the corporate America. I really do. But the greed is what's bringing America down. What's bringing America? Greed. 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 Oh, okay. Greed. Everybody's greed. Everybody's greed. I totally agree. Go with the flow. You know what? You must have went shopping and when you got some cash, they said, do you want to buy a warranty? Mm -hmm. have, have you noticed every time you go to buy something, yeah. when you get to the cash register to pay for your item, the first thing they want to know is, do you want to buy a warranty on this? A standard warranty. They're telling you up, up front, it's no good. It's no good. That's 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 not true. The, the law of the land is the United States Constitution, and uh, I will piggyback on what Faith said earlier about following the money. And the law of the land says in Article 1, Section 8, that the Congress, the House of Representatives, the closest to the people in our representative republic, which is what we are alleged to live under, which is what all the government officials swear to uphold, states that... The Congress controls the economy, but in reality, it's a private central bank which controls everything, and they're answerable to no one, and it's called the Federal Reserve Bank. Well, the Constitution 
says that the economy is run by the government, so that's the opposite of capitalism, but Faith has something to say on this as well. Sir, I do agree with what you're saying. We are a capitalistic society as a whole, and what we mean by that is we are taught to be greedy from infancy, and this is another reason why we have to get corporate money out of politics. They fund our major media networks. These are the people, they're telling us to want this stuff. They pump it into us that we need this stuff. They pump it into us that we have to have this stuff, that we can't do it without this stuff. We don't need it. We don't need it. And until we start to, and until, and exactly, it is with the people. We, it, it, Wait, what? I didn't hear. I, he, Carla, she didn't you, hear what you said just now. Okay, I'm going to say it. So the responsibility is to the amongst the people. The response, so and that... And, and, and the people that these people put forth to give them the money, to give them the power. And that is the goal of Occupy. Yes. Because a lot of people do not understand that that is what is going on. A lot of people do not understand that we don't need this stuff. It is amazing and, and lovely and awesome that you have understood that. And I hope that you're going and telling everyone you possibly know what your feelings are on this and you're shouting it from the rooftops. That is the goal of Occupy. Education. You have to educate the people of the wrongs that are going on right in front of them. And what is that major wrong that's happening? That we have all this corporate money in politics and in our major media networks and all of our major corporations that are feeding us this line of bull that we need this stuff that we don't need we have been bred from infancy you to believe you tell me we don't need our cell phone with text <laughs> <laughs> i do <laughs> we got video cameras on do we need facebook no we there's no i'm not saying that i'm no i am not against technology i am not against te i am not against technology at all because without technology we would not be having this discussion right now i am pro technology however what i am not pro is putting capitalistic greed above humane needs yeah. that is what i am not against we will go out and we will spend we as a people will go out and we will spend 180 dollars on jordans however we will not go and spend 180 dollars to, give to, our, to give to our school systems we won't do that we won't take the cheaper brand of tennis shoe so that we can then go and feed the people who are, are hungry in our communities we won't do that and if we have extra surplus food we might not want to give it away instead we might want to sell it to someone because we're always told to make a buck or to throw profit, it away. to or, or throw it away and this is what needs to change we need to change not only as as a, not only our government but we need to change the way we as a people think with education and that is another goal of Occupy. And Get the people like, educated. Yeah, right now, they're, um, they're setting up deals with McDonald's where McDonald's can now accept food stamps. That's yeah. how. That's, how that's all. Goes. Yes. You got deals now where you can use your ATM machine in the church. It's tax free. It's tax free. Thank you. You like it? Love you too, man. Boy, y'all stirring up Richmond today. Yeah, I'm loving that. I'm loving this is what it's about. That's that. And people said, don't nobody listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> I do now. <laughs> All right, Carl, you there? Hey, we do. Yes, sir. Killer, man. Kill, cut it, cut it, cut it. I am the mouth of the south, and I smell it, I ain't gonna tell it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna define it and stand behind it. That's right. I elected officials ain't worth a damn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and I think about all of the people that went down to 28 degrees last night, and I called Mr. Esau Miller, the gentleman that just called a few minutes ago, and I was crying. I'm like, Esau, those people died out there in the streets. They didn't have anywhere to go. And I left them in the field. Call it there. That's Richmond is dark. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Esau Miller. Okay, well, hold. Ted is saying something. Go ahead. <laughs> Street last night at 28 degrees. We need to help these people. 
They died out there last night. I talked to Marty Jewell this morning. He said, well, give me a case where somebody died. I say, 28 degrees out there on brick and concrete? Our bodies were not made to take that. That's true. And they will take these people's bodies, turn them to the medical examiners, and that will be all to yeah. it. We must help those people. Well, where, where are they going to go? We need to go to the Arthur Ashe Center. I yes. keep saying to well, the, 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 the uh, because the school board has the key, the mayor has the key, they can open that door anytime. We have hundreds of people strolled up and down the streets, in the alleys. We must help save well, the you, people that did not last night. You know what they used to do in the 70s? A lot of people I knew on the, on the street on the, in the 70s, what they used to do when winter came, They'll go in a store and steal a, a, a can of a sardines or, or, or anything to get locked up and stay in jail mm -hmm. for the winter months. But you don't want to go in that hole. No, it costs you a dollar a day now. A dollar a day, it costs you your life. Yeah. yeah. It's a joke, but, but it costs you your life. Back in the 70s, a lot of people did that every winter. Just to go to jail. They'll go to jail to long enough to have some. So when they stay, eat every day, and then when they get the spring, they most times, out. you know, pay the loss, and then you be there four or five months. Get born, we back out on the street. Mr. Brown. Yes, sir. Mr. Brown. Yes, sir. Let me um, uh, let me make this uh, statement to this guy. Uh, what's his name? Chris? Chris Dorsey. Uh, no, Sheriff Chris. That's right. <laughs> I painted the star okay. on his chest. He said something about, about the laws of the land. Mm -hmm. About congressmen that made the laws of the land. I want to let you know, young man. That God called Moses to the mountaintop, and he gave Moses the laws of the land. Have you ever read or studied the Tenth Commandment? Yeah, there's a, there's a, that, many, that, many more than ten. That is the laws of the land. Right well, well, the law, the law of this land, the United States of America, is, is the U.S. Constitution. Oh, no. That law says love your brother, and we're not doing that. We're not. Let's not get. We're not getting on religion. I don't think that was one thing that we brought up. Like, you know. That's not we none of us. <laughs> And I'm not going to have a, 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 a,